Yeah, did you guys hear that gyms are open? Yeah. That, that's about the right reaction to that. <laughs> I, I signed up for the gym a while ago because I was in fights, which did not go very well because we did this. Uh, my bone structure is weaker than my jokes, so it's uh, not very really good. <laughs> and, and also, like, look at these tiny hands. They're not made for fighting. They're soft and they're made for like powerful handwriting. So, like nobody. Is <laughs> <laughs> nobody has ever won a fight by writing like "fuck you" in cursive. That's never happened. <laughs> yeah. After the fight, my girlfriend, she had the audacity to tell me, why didn't you defend yourself? Like, bitch, defend myself? I get sore watching sports. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, she's clearly the stronger one in our relationship. Like, she works out every single day, and I work out, like, uh, what day is it today? Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah, like four times a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I started going to the gym. I tried CrossFit. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but it's basically a bunch of, like, buff dudes with repressed feelings playing with ropes. Because the whole time, like, 70% of their exercise is this. <laughs> they are that intense, too, right? <laughs> and then when you try to do it, you're like, okay, maybe it's gonna work, because they look pretty buff. And you're like, can I try it? And like, no, no, wait, now both arms, and they go. <laughs> <laughs> Powerful shit. Um, <laughs> so, of course, I stopped going to CrossFit um, and I went to the gym. And uh, I don't know if you know this, guys, but like. All dudes run the gym. I don't care what you say. If you're a baller, you have a gym membership. <laughs> <laughs> It's just everywhere, just scalps and then like veins. That's that's big. <laughs> so I try to hit the weights, right? And I'm just already like self-conscious about just being me, right? I can tell you too. Like you, you have the sadness in your eyes, yeah. So. <laughs> and now I'm self-conscious with being like, like not being bald, which I don't know. Like, like, <laughs> but I had the courage in the end. I went there, I grabbed the weight, and all of a sudden I hear. I felt like I was like in Jurassic Park, you know that scene with like the glass yeah. <laughs> Exactly, and all of a sudden I was like, what is going on? Man? Huge shadow comes behind me, right? This humongous piece of human being, if you could call it that, just the biggest I've seen in my life. And he just went, hey, I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> like I felt I was in the crossover between the Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones. Like, this guy was obviously the mountain, and I was like, Frodo, but, <laughs> but at this point, uh, the mountain was bald and showing me his nipples, and Frodo was still a pussy. Um, so I was just standing there, right, and like, I'm minding my own business, hoping that he would not eat me by the end of the day. So he grabs the, the heaviest weight of them all, right, and he just stands there, and all of a sudden, I swear to God this happened, he just stands there, puts himself in like the, the gym dude position, and he starts... <laughs> Basically, that I don't think I'm gonna go back to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Have a good day.